All right, it is 1221, so I am going to start. There's nobody on right now, which is totally fine, but um, some people may end up joining as we get going. All right, I have graded last week's assignment, not yesterday's, but last week's assignment for everybody. And unfortunately, a few people did not totally complete the assignment, so if you didn't, it was reflected in your grade. But I will give you till the beginning of class tomorrow. To do whatever you didn't finish today. Um, to finish that up, I'm not going to give you full credit, but I'll give you most credit. Maybe I'll take 25% or whatever off. All right. OK, so for this test yesterday. I'm not going to read the first paragraph. You can you've seen that yourselves. All right. <clears throat> so it said we were supposed to make two projects. Number one, we had pretty much done this BMI program as a class. So you were asked to refactor code as necessary to eliminate redundancy. I thought for sure that one of the things people would at least attempt to do. Is you know we've got that one part of the code that basically has got th those few lines that, that are inside of back ticks that say uh, return to main page or whatever it is. And you try to put that into a method, but I don't think, I don't know if anybody did or not, to be honest with you, I don't remember. Now, it says fix up the page so that it prints the BMI information. It says use a bootstrap table or similar to format the calculated BMI into a nicer format. Now, over the weekend, there were people in this class who got a hold of me and were having problems either getting their code to work or or whatever. And by and large, they got it to work. But you know, just to be totally frank with you, most people, their output was not good. All right. So I want to show you one that was good. All right. And I'm hoping I don't embarrass him, but uh, let's see. Oh, I'm going to have to bring it back up again, so hold on just a second. For some reason, the entire browser closed down uh, before I started class today, so let me bring this back up again. And now I should be able to bring it up, and I think I've got the internet up on the screen, but I'll double check anyway. All right, I'm going to double check that. All right, so this was James James Wart, Wharton's. Okay, most people yours looked a lot like this. You might have had a different image, but most of you yours look like this. All right, but this isn't what I want to show you. What I want to show you is what's on the second page. And that's here. Now, this is what I'd envisioned your second page looking like was something like this. Now, I was hoping in here. No, this is underweight. I don't even know with him that now if that person is underweight. Let's try it again. Let's put in. Oh, he does. He did. He did put him in. So you can do that. See that? So that was an overweight person. There isn't. Uh, I guess that was overweight. The other one was obese. And there's a person who's fit. Now that's what I was assuming you would do. And I'd like you to try to do that. All right, I'm not saying you can do it. I'm asking you to try to do it. All right, but at least you should be able to come in and fix up 
your table so it looks more like this. I mean, my table looks terrible because I didn't do any CSS on it. It runs across the whole line like this, and that does not look good. And I want yours to look better. All right. So again, when you look at it right now, I guess at least, <clears throat> I probably for lack of better words, I would have been within my rights, so to speak, that, you know, it, it says fix this up, use a bootstrap to make it look in, into a nicer format. And to be honest with you, again, most of yours, including mine, don't look nice. All right. And that goes really for both, both problems. So I'd like you to come in and I'd like you to try to add a graphic. All right. Yeah, this might involve you going out on the internet and doing some investigatory work. And it might not be nearly as hard as you think it is. All right. If you don't do it, all right, if you make no attempt at all, it'll lose the five points. And you might say, you know, it's not worth the five points. OK, I can't force you to do it. But try to go back in and see if you can refactor, because what a couple of you, at least, if not three of you did out of the six, is you just took the code that we had in class and you didn't make any changes. That's not refactoring. All right, so I'd like you to do some refactoring. Now for the second one, create this loan application program. All right, I'm going to I'm going to change a few things right now. All right, right now, and I'm going to do it on the fly and I will send this to you when I get all done. All right, so include the first name, the last name, the amount borrowed. Let's let's put something in here that would actually make some sense. All right, so let's come in here and put in like 5,000. To. A million dollars. A million dollars if you were going to really build some kind of house. 5,000 if you were going to buy a fairly cheap used car type of an idea. Some of you, you only went to $10,000. That wasn't the idea behind this. All right, so come in there and make make uh, constants of 5,000 and 10,000. All right, the reason for borrowing, people seem to get that. For the loan years, again, if you want to, all right, you can either leave that in a drop down if you got it to work, or, or if you didn't want to do that, you could just put it into a text box. But if you put it into a text box, at a minimum, you should make it a number text box. All right. So I've got create your own constants for the minimum and maximum loan amount. And like I said, it's not that it was terrible, but some of you had like $10,000. You know, I don't know about you, but I, I don't know of any home you can get for that. All right, so. We'll change this to use. In class. Constance. Or the minimum. And again, we said that would be 5,000. And maximum, and again, we said that would be 1 million, all right? Create your own constants for the loan interest rate. That's OK. I don't care if you ask the user to set it up as a number or if you ask the user to set it up in a text box. Now, if you make it a number. By default, it's going to look for a, a whole number. So for the interest rate, like it says in here. All right, I'd like this to be between, let's say, 1% and 10%. All right. So again, use in class constants for the loan interest rate. So 1% to 10%. All right. Now it says free to look out on the internet. Let's just get rid of that. All right. 
create your own home page and complete the results using a bootstrap five with all input and you know including the monthly payment well that's one thing i was expecting now for this other one nobody tried it maybe it was too hard maybe you didn't have the time maybe you didn't care i don't know but i'd like all of you to try it all right now what i did and i'm going to show you this in just a moment in fact, I'll show you it right now. I'll do one more share. Is I went out on the internet and found this loan amortization table that somebody had created. Now it's a code pen. So let me let me go and bring it up where you can copy it because you're going to have to make changes to it. Normally, I would never, you know, say to somebody, I'd say, make your own. All right. Bigger. Money big. There we go. All right. So I'm going to go and put that up there right now so you can see that. OK. There's the code pen. And I'm going to put it up there and I'm actually going to run it for you in just a moment. All right. Now you're going to have to change yours. Because this one is expecting you to actually input the stuff right into there. All right, so it's codepen.io slash Joey Mac 47 slash pen slash L Y capital L capital Y lowercase b lowercase g lowercase x lowercase g now let me change my share again back to the internet and this is how this person set this thing up all right so let's see it's kind of hard to see i realize that but there, down on the bottom i think we can lift that up yeah good there we go more than you get them. All right, so you come in here and you say that you wanted to borrow two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. All right, what's the interest? Let's just say it's eight percent. All right, how many months? Let's say sixty months. So for five years. All right, we'll make that two hundred and fifty. I'll make it twenty-five. That's fine. And then calculate. And notice what he gets based on this. I got to bring this up now. OK, you get this. The month, how much is being paid toward. Interest and how much is being paid towards principal. All right. I'd like you to do something similar to that so you can use this particular <clears throat> example here. You can use this particular example here and tweak it so that it works for you. All right. So let me jump back in. Oops, let me jump back in again to. So I'd like you to do this. All right, I'm not going to I'm getting the word optional off of here. So taking this from the top. All right. I, let's see. I've decided to gauge everybody. You have until midnight Wednesday, 914. It should have been well, whatever. You had till Sunday, actually. All right, but you had time to work on this. Save the two projects to your GitHub repo when you finished. All right. So complete the node BMI program as we worked on in class. That's 30 points. All right. Refactor the code as necessary. Now that I'm adding this 30 and 10 is 40 and 15 is 55 so 75 and 55 is 130 so let's just look at this let's see that was 30 points 10 and 15 and 5 so this first one is still worth 30 points 10 for refactoring and you've got to do some refactoring it would be nice 
if you refactored something, and one or two of you did this, if you refactored, just to put a comment in there explaining what you removed or what you moved to someplace else or whatever. So that's 10 points. All right. Next, I don't care if you use a bootstrap table or a non bootstrap table, but I want it to look nice. So if yours is one row stretched out over the entire width of the page, that does not look nice. All right, so I'd like you to try to make it look nice. All right, and I just showed you an example a couple minutes ago. Finally, I'd like you to try to put that graphic underneath there. Again, if you can't do it. All right. I mean, what I'd envision, and maybe I'm wrong with, with what I'm thinking in here, that it would just basically, it would be a div that you would put in there. And when you check the BMI, um, you would then basically, you were just gonna go in and add a little bit of code. I don't know if you'd have to do a JavaScript on the client side, all right? If you can't do it, don't worry about it. Cause one of the things we're going to be talking about starting tomorrow, all right, are, is using templating. And we're going to get into EJS, which is embedded JavaScript. So that's the first one. For this second one, now we said it was worth 70, so that would be what, 10, 20, that is 70 points there. All right, so we will make this actually, instead of 70, we will make it 95. And notice, I would like this to be done by the beginning of class tomorrow. Now you might think, well, that's unfair. Well, for anybody who happens to be watching this particular tape, all right, that I'm making right now, change this all. So it's 12, 05, 00, zero and it is PM. Why? Because tomorrow we're going to go in and we're going to go ahead. In fact, I guess, all right, because the people might say, well, I didn't see this. This was totally unfair. Then fine, we'll make it the beginning of class on Wednesday. All right. Every one of you is going to get an email from me in just a couple minutes. And what it has on there, I've made six emails, six different ones of what I'd be looking for from each one of the problems that you didn't give me. Now, with, with some of you, it'll say, you know, you're, it was fine as it was type of an idea, okay? Or fix up the CSS or, you know, fix up your table so it's not one long, ugly row, all right? So you won't have that much to do. All right, so again, for the second one, for the loan app, Again, input a person's name, first name, last name, amount borrowed. Make these constants. With some of you, you had like you could borrow up to maybe fifty thousand or a hundred thousand dollars. But whenever I put something in there, it gave me an error, and it said that uh, that was an illegal amount. So with one of them, it said, said the max was a hundred thousand, and I put in ninety thousand, and it said you must put in a number between five thousand and a hundred thousand. You got to fix that. All right. Let's see. The other thing too is, in, I'd like you to, if you use drop downs, use some CSS and make your drop downs so they're the same height and width as your text boxes. That'll just look nicer. All right, now that would take work actually to probably work with that and make it look nicer and still be responsive, but at least at 100% it would look nice, all right? But to have it look really little right next to these bigger, chunkier, clunkier text boxes does not look good. So have your amount borrowed be between 5,000 and a million. Have your constants, those will be constants. Have constants for minimum instant in, interest rate of 1%, maximum of 10%. All right. Again, if you don't want to use a drop down list, Put in here. Or. Or. Text box. 
type number. All right, you can do that as well. It's totally fine. All right, but I'd like you to use those in class constants, the ones we just talked about right here. Again, create your own home page and completed results page using Bootstrap 5. So this should look decent. I know there were only one or two of you that actually put images in there. And I think there was one or maybe even two of you. Your images didn't even work. And it just had the it had the alt text in there. It doesn't look professional. I don't want that. All right. So create it doesn't even have to be another page. You want to put it on another page, you can. So create a loan amortization table. Showing the amount. Paid for interest. The amount. Paid for principal. Each month. Formatted as some kind of a table. Again, ideally a similar table to the other one you're creating. The stuff should be centered on pages. You really shouldn't just have a white background. All right, you should be trying to do something. These are things again that I hope you would want to put into your portfolio. All right, so it should look as professional as possible. Again, you will all be getting an email from me in just a few minutes. They're all they're I guess you'd call it personalized. All right, but this will be due Wednesday by the beginning of class. So I'll expect whatever changes. I ask you to put onto your two programs. I'm asking you to do that and then just, you know, update your GitHub repo. All right, if you have any questions, as always, please feel free to email me. You know the email address by now. All right, when we come in tomorrow, we are going to start working, like I said, we're going to start working on some other stuff. All right. All right, again, any questions, feel free to email me. Otherwise, I'll talk to you tomorrow. It's really all I had.